Okay, let's get more analysis on this developing story. Tahir Kilabuz is a political scientist. Scientist, he joins me from South Bend in Indiana. Tahir, thank you for your time for TRT World. Now, in your sure. opinion, can these new compromises made by President Bouteflika, him stepping aside after one year, organizing a new election, reform Algerian politics and stop the protests? Um, I would say it is unlikely. Um, I read these compromises more of a buying time from the side of the regime rather than uh, real uh, promises that will be kept, because um, this is not the first time in Algeria um, President Bouteflika promised certain reforms. In 2011, when there were protests uh, in Algeria following the region-wide protests, um, in April 2011, Bouteflika went on the TV and he promised uh, pretty much similar things. Um, but in the following couple of years, the economic promises were not really kept, and promises like a new electoral law and new constitution uh, were only partially kept, and people are aware of these. Today, uh, promises are quite similar. The only difference is the uh, independent national congress between, with the opposition and the new election. However, uh, there is no clarity on that. Uh, Bouteflika can run, can, can be president for another year, but they may say, let's go for two years or three years because they may have they may not have a timeline so um, it is not really binding here and uh, I wouldn't expect that uh, these uh, promises would stop the protest now Tahir people haven't seen President Bouteflika for six years he is uh, obviously uh, in a very bad health he is currently in Geneva um, why Bouteflika doesn't want to step down so it is not just Bouteflika's own decision. Uh, Algerian regime is an eclectic regime. It is the uh, mix of uh, different institutions. Military is involved, business is involved, the party is involved, but presidency is involved as well. And uh, there are uh, different groups within the regime, and uh, they each had their own um, ideas for the succession of uh, Bouteflika. But these groups did not necessarily agree on a consensus candidate. And rather than find, uh, choosing one person and alienating others and creating certain internal divisions, they decided to, to uh, stick with Bouteflika. I wouldn't necessarily call this Bouteflika's own decision, but this is the decision of Bouteflika and his surrounding uh, people. So they wanted to continue with Bouteflika in order to keep the regime uh, united. However, that led to uh, such protests which they were not expecting. Okay, and... Can we expect from the ruling party to suggest some other candidate? And can this satisfy the people on the street? Or uh, we can wait and see what opposition is going to do. Obviously, they're also divided. They don't have one candidate for the April vote. Mm -hmm. So um, it could be possible at first, if they had found a different uh, candidate than Bouteflika, uh, we may not have seen such protests. However, they decided to continue with Bouteflika and they turned into protest. Now, at this point, especially today with the end of the official candidacy uh, timeline, um, it is not expected for, from them to find a different candidate. And it is quite late right now because people are really mobilized today. Uh, even if they find someone else, uh, since people are mobilized, it is becoming more difficult. And if, about the opposition, um, even though there are opposition candidates, we should keep in mind that these Peaceful protests are not started, uh, were not started by the opposition parties. They st uh, these are started by uh, people themselves. And opposition is actually following. Today and yesterday, some of the opposition candidates uh, pulled out of the regime, uh, pull pulled out of the race, uh, elect elections, uh, saying that Butefl if Bouteflika is running, we are not running. Um, and this was tried to further, further delegitimize an er already illegitimate election cycle. Um, and in that case, we can say that since the elections are not free and fair and they are illegitimate, the pressure will continue on the streets and the opposition is actually following what the streets are doing, not necessarily opposition are leading the street. People are leading the opposition today. Okay, Tahir Kilavuz, thanks so much for that insight for us.